Hi, my name's Russ, and I'm an intern here at Dickinson College, working for the House Divided Project. And today, I'm going to show you how to create a word cloud using one of the most popular sites called Wordle.net. And word clouds are very helpful um, because they can add more structure and creativity to a close reading or any type of analysis of a document. And what they are is they are graphic representations of word frequency, meaning how often certain words appear in the documents. So to get started, we are going to click on Create Your Own. And we come to this screen. And now what we're going to do is we're going to paste text into this box. So let's open up a new tab and we're going to go to the document so we're gonna to go to the Lincoln uh, the Lincoln writings website and this is just gonna be an example so we're going to just use one document for this we'll go to this one and click on the transcription and then what we're going to do is we're going to, going to highlight all of the text from the document, copy it, and then paste it into this box. Okay, so we're going to have all of the text in this one box. And something else to add is if we want a certain phrase or group of words to stay together all we need to do is add a tilde so if we want let's say we want this phrase scoffer at Christianity to stay together and not be separated into different words in the word cloud all we have to do is do this use the tilde button and so that phrase is going to stick together on the next screen so once we have it the way we want we click go and we come to this page with the word cloud and as you can see scoffer at Christianity has stayed together and then we have a bunch of other individual words and right now I think we have too many words so we're going to narrow that down to 25 to make it a little easier to read so then we have this and we can use these these buttons to change the way that it looks we can change the font to something else we can change the layout we can also change the color and if we don't like the way that it looks still we can click relay out with current settings and it's just going to rearrange it and so then once we once we like the way that that looks we can go ahead and click save to public gallery and we're gonna need to type in a title and a username well we'll go with house divided and then in the comment section this is really important this is where we're going to type in uh, the maximum number of words so and also the source of the document so we got that from the house divided website and also who it's created by so created by Russ click OK. 
and then that saves the word cloud to wordle.net and at this point it has been saved um, and it is not going to be deleted from there unless we unless we click this button but once we exit this page it's going to remain in the public gallery so that's important to know so we need to make sure that everything is the way that we like it because we we won't be able to go back and change it then and also we can click open in in a new window and we're, we're not able to copy and paste this but what we can do is we can take a screenshot so we can do control uh, print screen and that's going to take a screenshot of it and then we can paste that into a document and crop it to the way that we want it to look so again I hope that was helpful um, and that you guys you guys will find word clouds useful as you do close readings and analyze different kinds of documents.